I'm here with James Power. James, this matchup had us all buzzing, but obviously for you it was a lot more than you know, a crazy fun fight. A lot of implication in that fight. How pivotal do you think it was for your career? Yeah, I think it was immensely pivotal. I feel like I went over someone like Jerley, who's been spoke about in title contention before, and he's mm -hmm. beat some really good guys as well. He's got some good names on his resume. So a win against him should really put me right at the top, mm -hmm. I feel like. Was it the fight that you expected against him? Yeah, yeah, I knew he was game. I knew he was tough and durable. Um, and he's slick. He's much better than people give him credit. Um, but yeah, I felt I knew I was better than him everywhere, and I feel like I showed that tonight as well. And you let the crowd here in Newcastle get to you a little bit last time. You know, you knew what to expect <laughs> tonight, so did you have to almost like kind of block it out on while you were making your walk, your walk up? Yeah, definitely. Luckily, I've got a great corner team with uh, Cam and Charlie. Um, they've been with me all week and keeping me very calm and bloody because I have got a tendency to get a bit fired up for these fights. So, yeah, I've been much more stoic this weekend. Mm -hmm. And, we you know, with a surname like yours, Power, you don't need a nickname, obviously. <laughs> it describes your, your, your fight style perfectly. Yeah, I would agree, yeah. So, yeah, I won't be having a nickname mm -hmm. anytime soon. And then you named your son Soul Power, which I think is the coolest name ever. Was it your idea? Or uh, idea was it was a joint idea, to be fair, with me by Mrs. Mm -hmm. Ellie. Um, but, yeah, yeah, we're, we're really happy with the name. <laughs> So, you know, third big victory this, this year. Obviously, it's putting you in a really good spot. What are you expecting for 2025? How do you see it? Uh, 2025, I feel like surely I've got to be fighting for the belt. And if that's not on the table, not on the options, then I feel like a call up to Mr. Dana White's in order. Mm -hmm. So speaking of the title, what are, you, what are your thoughts on George Hardwick? I think I really respect George. We've trained together and I've trained with his brother quite a lot. So mm -hmm. in an ideal scenario, maybe he moves on to bigger, better things before I get the shot. But equally, I'm 33. Um, I'm not getting younger. I've got a family to provide for. So if he's in my way, then so be it. Okay. Well, congratulations and thank you. Thank you very much, Edith.